Hello and welcome to the brewery. Today we're going to look at a quick and hacky kegerator related project I've been working on recently. Inspired by a recent Kickstarter that I have invested in, I decided to have a play at building something to measure how full the kegs in my kegerator are. There are obviously two ways to do this. You can either measure the flow of beer out or you just measure the weight of the kegs. I decided to go with the weight and bought some cheap bathroom scales as a starting point. At first I thought I would simply weigh the beer and get some idea if the concept would work, but the scales wouldn't fit in the fridge and kept turning themselves off automatically. So I had to move on to something a little more complicated. So I hacked the scales apart and mounted the load cells and the housings onto a bit of board I had that was spare. I got an HX711 load cell amplifier to integrate the whole system into a Raspberry Pi. If you've seen many of my other projects, you'll know I have loads of Raspberry Pis, so I had one kicking around that I could just use. Connecting multiple load cells together requires a circuit called a Wheatstone Bridge. Some of you may remember these from school electronics classes, but they aren't very complicated. Initially, I was going to use a board from the original scales, but I couldn't make this work, and the wires kept falling off it, and it was really awkward to use. Working out how to wire the circuit together myself was fairly complicated and took a bit of investigation to work out how to connect the cells together to make the bridge. Apparently, each cell contains a static resistor and one that varies with the load. There are connectors at each end of the cell and one in between the two separate resistors. To make the bridge, you connect the variable to variable and static to static and make a loop. The corners of your weak strand bridge are the middle connectors for each load cell. Told you it was a bit complicated. But after a lot of fiddling and soldering and wiring, I finally got it to work. And I gaffer taped everything into place under the board for security and hackiness. I locked together some very simple software on the Raspberry Pi for gathering the data. It just printed the data out so I could see what was going on. I tested the system with empty and full kegs to try and calibrate it. I got a couple of project boxes and put some of the electronics in the box at the back of the board. That I mounted them with a lot of hot glue and a few bits of spare plastic from the original scales. A long ribbon cable connected this electronic to the Raspberry Pi that lived outside the fridge. And finally, I had an aluminium sheet to reinforce the board, which was bending rather dramatically and threatening to break. Originally, I was going to measure the keg on the right as you look at it, but putting the keg on top of the measuring scalesy things meant it ran into the fridge control fitting on the right hand side there. So I'm going to have to take that apart before I can do that keg. So I set it up with the other one. Once it's in and running away, it all seems to be working well, and that's the hardware side of this project done. So now it's time to move on to the software. I'm going to improve what I have on the Raspberry Pi, the aim being to push the data uh, onto some cloud software using AWS Lambdas and some on-demand databases that Samsung provide for you. Uh, more details if anyone wants to talk about that. I'm going to have a play at writing a mobile app because I haven't done that before to view the data and mount an old phone on the front of the fridge so you can see how much beer is in each of the kegs. But that's all for now. I'll get into the software next and probably show you it all working in another video. So thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Mm -hmm.